give God a hand clap of praise. Yeah, Lord. Bethlehem. No. Oh, that sounds really good. Well, the last two weeks of this year of 2011, and this whole year, we have been dedicated mm -hmm. to know Him. Right. This year of 2012, we're going to be resolved to make Him known. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, sir. And we're going to exercise making Him known next week. Can anybody tell me what next week is? Christmas. Okay, and there's something else going on Share next week. Share the love. Yeah, all right. Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we want you to share the love and make him known by inviting all of your family and friends out to be in the household of the Lord as we began to make him known. All right. Because if you know him, mm -hmm. you'll want to make him known. Yeah. Right. Anything that's good in your life, mm -hmm. you make known. All right, amen. If it's a right. piece of barbecue that you can buy and you and you love that barbecue, mm -hmm. you're going to make that place known. Mm -hmm. right. Hello, somebody. Yeah, right. All right. Anything that, 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 that has been beneficial to you, you, you don't have a problem mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. Hello, somebody. That's right. Yeah. So we want to make him known mm -hmm. this next Sunday because we know him. All right. Man, yeah. man. Now, if you don't know him, if you think he's just a, uh, he's in the mix with Frosty and uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> he's in the mix with Rudolph. And, All right. Well. And if you think it's a Charlie Brown Christmas, mm. then you don't know him. Well. Oh, and we pray that you can get to know him. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Bethlehem. To go. Amen. We're continuing in the month of where Paul challenged us in Philippians chapter 3, verse 17. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live, on those who live as we do. Mm -hmm. We've been challenging you throughout this month uh, to follow this example. Mm -hmm. We started out talking about a soldier mm -hmm. for Christ. Mm -hmm. We talked about being an athlete for Christ. Mm -hmm. We talked about being a farmer for Christ. Mm -hmm. All of which have to suffer for their various duties. Right. A soldier doesn't entangle himself in the things of this world. Right. Uh, because he's only interested in how he can please his commanding officer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see next week whether we're going to be tangled in the things of this world or oh, whether Lord. we're going to celebrate Christ's birthday the way that it should be celebrated. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to be a soldier for Christ? Are you going to be an athlete for Christ? An athlete, uh, no athlete gets in a race and not want to win the race. Right, oh, right, my. right. Just like some of you are so competitive, you, 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 you if you're playing Uno, you want to win. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And, and, and one of the worst things to see is Christian folk and competitive uh, tasks because you may not you may not even see that they're really Christian. Come on, come on. Hello, oh, somebody. Yeah. Because they forget that Christ Christianity because they want to win. Oh Lord. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. But we have to be as competitive about the things of Christ. That's it. And making him known, we have to be like that farmer. And we studied on Wednesday night that farming is hard work. Amen. Some of you are like me. The only place you pick your cotton was Neiman Marcus. But cotton comes from uh, the farms. And, and, and it's some hard work to be a farmer. Well, and amen. God has called us to do some hard work for the Lord. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, your Christian faith is not just about a Sunday morning. It's about... 
a Sunday morning, a Sunday evening, a Sunday in the middle, a Sunday when you wake up, a Monday morning. It's about every breath you take that's it. for the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's what the, uh, that should be your commitment to mm -hmm. Him. Mm -hmm. And saying all of this as we challenge you to live as we do, we we want to ask that you offer a better sacrifice this morning. Mm -hmm. All right. I say sacrifice. to your neighbor, 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 or neighbor, or neighbor, neighbor, I can give, I I can give, give a, better sacrifice. a better sacrifice. Now don't lie in the church now. <laughs> All right. That's the morning's title of the message is mm -hmm. a better sacrifice. We're going to be looking at Hebrews chapter 4. Would you please stand in reverence to the word of God stand symbolically saying that I will stand on the word of God. Mm -hmm. I will stand on the word of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4 NIV. Let's read this. Yeah, chapter 11. Let's read this out loud together at the same time on three. One Two, three. By faith, faith Abel offered God, God a better, better sacrifice, sacrifice than Cain did. By, by faith, faith he was committed as a righteous man. man. When, when God, God spoke well of his offering, and, and by, by faith, faith he still speaks, even though he is dead. dead. Amen. You may be seated in the household of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We're talking about this morning a better sacrifice. A better sacrifice. And we're going to preach on around three points as the Holy Spirit allows us. We're going to talk about a faith that supposes, a faith that sacrifices, and a faith that speaks. A faith that supposes, a faith that sacrifices, and a faith that speaks. We want you to know this morning that Christians should be a better model of a better sacrifice. Christians uh -huh. should be a model of a better sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And this text today is a text that's very familiar with most of us who grew up in the church. This text is called the Hall of Fame of Faith. Mm -hmm. Right. Because in this text you you read about those who were champions for God. Mm -hmm. In this text it is a place where faith is manifested in a very practical way. Mm -hmm. And we have models of people who believe in God. Mm -hmm and did what God told them to do. Mm -hmm. Many different models. So if you, if, you, if you want a model of faith, this is a great text to read. Yeah. A model of faith. It's also a text, not only does it show the model of faith, but it also gives us the definition okay. of faith. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And in this definition of faith, to the human mind, is irrational. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance mm -hmm. of things hoped for, mm -hmm. the evidence mm -hmm. of things mm -hmm. not seen. Right. Man, man. So you're saying, preacher, that I manifest faith out of nothing. Because you said faith is the substance of what I'm hoping for. I don't have anything but hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's an evidence. It's proof right. of right. what I cannot see. Mm -hmm. now, faith by itself doesn't mean much. But you got to remember that this is faith in God. Mm -hmm. The same God who stepped out of nothing, spoke and created the world as the Bible tells us in that Hebrew word ex nihilo, being able to create something out of nothing. Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, so faith supposes God is who he says he is. Yeah. Yeah. Faith supposes that he is 
the same God of Moses when Moses said, Whom, sir, I say, sent me. Mm -hmm. And God told him that I am, mm -hmm. that I am. Right. Which meant that anything that you need, I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was an open check on the power of God. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about faith, right. Faith doesn't stand alone. Faith is in God. Right. Matter of fact, the Bible says we'll learn a little later in this sermon that without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible yes, to please God. Now the Bible talks about being a, a God, and He posed the question in this Christmas story. Uh, the angel posed the question to Mary: Is there anything impossible? Mm -hmm. For God. Mm. There's only one thing that's impossible for God. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Without faith, mm -hmm. it's impossible right. to please God. Really, that's impossible for us to tap into his power of God. But because in, in order for God to work, he has to have faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. my, my. And we limit God from moving in our lives. We limit God oh, from working at the church. We, well. we limit God because we don't have faith oh. in him. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Do you have faith, Do you have faith in God? In God. Amen. Man, man. A better sacrifice is a practical way that you show that you have faith mm -hmm. in God. Yeah, yeah. And let me put it this way. Better giving. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it in money terms. Better giving shows that you have faith. Thank God. All right. Yeah. 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 Mm. Let me say that again. Mm. For we're talking about chapter 4 or verse 4. By faith. Mm -hmm. By faith. Abel. Abel. Talked about a better sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been gone too long. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what did the word say? Offered. Mm. Offered, oh, not talked. Hello, mm. somebody. My Lord. Somebody better wake up this morning. All, All right. right. She's about to get led astray. Oh, <laughs> mm. By faith, mm. Abel thought about. No. Mm -hmm. All right. By faith, mm -hmm. he, 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 he waved over. Mm. Hello, somebody. No, so, no. So, so, so you can so you, you you can say when I wave my hand, I'm believing that I'm gonna have something to give. That's faith, mm. huh? No. <laughs> it works itself out. It works itself out in a very practical way because if you, you if you really have faith in God, you got to put something, something in it. You, you can't wave. Talk. Mm. I'm going to wave and believe that I'm going to uh, be able to give one day. No. Come on. Come on. Hello, somebody. Mm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's not just giving a dollar. Mm. Hello, somebody. Is that how much faith you have in God? Mm. Come on. Come on. It's, it's a dollar. Mm. Now, 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 if you like Grandmama Nell and, and Grandmama Nell, they, they gave a dollar because they worked at Maine and, and when they were working at Maine and, and that was 10% uh, of what they were making. Oh Lord, right. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Is there anybody in here that yeah. uh, that has a job that when you're tired, it, it, it's, it's only going to be a dollar? Come on. Mm. Come on. I, I don't think so, you see, because people don't realize that God sees through all of this fake and this jerk and all this stuff yeah. that you do. He sees through all Maybe say, you know, you can't praise God without a faith. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hello, somebody. My Lord. It's amazing that, that, that in this place uh, you, you hear a lot of voices. Uh, but, but in heaven, there's probably only maybe about five. 
are six voices coming from Bethlehem because we don't have faith. Hmm. Hello, oh. somebody. Oh, oh, because we're not giving the way we should be giving because we're not living the way we should be living. And as a result, when we get, oh, when God hears this 11 o'clock service on a Sunday morning, he may, he may not be able to hear some of y'all that got a real nice note. Mm. Well. He may only be hearing some folk kind of like me. That oh, Lord. <laughs> well. Well. The well. Bible says to make a joyful noise. Mm. That's right. Yes, sir. Hello, somebody. Hey, mm. he, he may be hearing noise. He may not be hearing the tonings and the babies and all of that because we are not offering him a... A chance. Mm. Mm. We're waving Oh and we're giving uh, 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 Dollars uh, And we're not giving what we should be giving mm. Oh for the Bible says To whom much is given Much is what Required Required, Required. Mm -hmm. Required. Mm -hmm. And some of you Are like that, that man that was a hypocrite Come on. Oh, and that hip get offering and they oh like they do in the big cities. Oh, they have that ten thousand dollar line they have lined up. Some of you folk like to go visit them every once in a while. I don't oh, I hope you're not in this line when you visit. Oh Lord. A ten thousand dollar line and they say, I'm giving today, I'm giving today, I'm giving ten thousand but you got a million in the bank. No oh, Lord. That ain't nothing. Hello, Hello somebody. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hello. And that's a and that's a, a widow in the house that, that don't have much and all she can give is a, is a widow's might. All she can give is her her one dollar. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And God says now, now that's an offering because she gave everything. Amen. everything. She offered a better sacrifice. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Okay. We're talking about a better sacrifice. We're talking about a better sacrifice. A better sacrifice. Because if you're going to give a better sacrifice, it says you have to give it by faith. Mm -hmm. by, by faith. faith. By faith. Abel offered God a better sacrifice that than can. Cain did. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And Cain had the audacity to be mad at him. When they both could have given a, a better sacrifice. There's some folk up in here that are mad at the sincere people that are giving a better sacrifice of, of their money. They're giving a better sacrifice of their time. All right. A better sacrifice of their abilities. Mm. But yet, they're being hated upon. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he think he all that. All right. It's a holy roller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, somebody. But when you truly have faith in God, it is shown at the bottom line. It is shown in your giving. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. There's some preachers that won't let leaders lead unless they're giving right. Mm. All right. And you know, folk know how to figure out. Uh, what you should be giving mm. especially people who work in the area of stewardship Amen. hello somebody mm. each occupation makes a certain amount of money mm. doctors uh, can make more than those that uh, uh, work at McDonald's yeah. but you look at the book and see that the guy at McDonald's is giving more than the doctor, the doctor. Oh, Lord. Hello, uh -huh. oh and he's uh, offering a better sacrifice mm -hmm. oh but God wants us if we're, if we're going to move into this new year and to do the things that God wants us to do if we're going to celebrate come on, Jesus come birthday on. right mm -hmm. this coming Sunday yeah. don't take his money his Sacrifice that you're supposed to be giving to him and give it to everybody else. Oh Lord, oh, no. my Lord, oh, yeah. my last. Uh, oh, in my last church, uh, uh, Christmas landed on a Sunday, mm -hmm. and I was so disheartened mm -hmm. because the folk didn't show up. And guess what? They didn't leave that money either. <laughs> oh Lord, come on, hello somebody, yeah. and they didn't bring it the week after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Hello, Lord. somebody. Yes, sir. Which meant that they had Christmas on Christ. Yo, Lord. Well, 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 Oh Lord. He not only didn't get a gift, he didn't even get a birthday party. Oh Lord. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, no. hello, somebody. Well. All right. Is this what we've come to in our day and time? Come on. Come on. The preacher uh, challenged us on Wednesday night and said, We remember back in the day when 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 uh, Christmas landed on Sunday, mm -hmm. you would have Christmas the night before and come and uh, praise him and have a true Christmas on Sunday morning. Oh Lord. Hello, All somebody. right, all right. But then they were a different group of people than we are. Yes, yes. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. many, times, many times all they had was God. Mm -hmm. And it was evident by the way they came to church on a Sunday morning, the way they were at church all day Sunday, BTU 3 o'clock service, oh, then at late, uh, the 6 o'clock service, oh, they were about our father's business, but we have been so blessed that many times we leave him out, and then many folks leave him out of his own part. Oh, Lord. Oh, Hello, mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. But is this faith in God? No, this is not faith in God. All right. Faith offers a better sacrifice. The offering really should double during the Christmas mm -hmm. service. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. It's his birthday, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, Lord. It's his Hello. birthday. Hello. Oh, Hello. Hello. On your birthday, do you get what you regularly get? <laughs> Hello, somebody. Oh, my on my birthday, I get a lot more stuff than I would normally get on any other day. Oh, Lord. Well, Hello, yeah. somebody. Well, mm -hmm. uh, and, on my, on my, and on my pastor's anniversary, I get a lot more than I normally would get. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. You get a, a better sacrifice on your day. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Come well, on. Mm -hmm. Will we truly give God a better sacrifice this coming Christmas? Oh, Lord. Or will we be like the word of just X? It's going to be Xmas. Oh, Xmas. Lord. Lord We're going to X Christ mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and do what we want to do. Lord, help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. That's not faith. Mm -hmm. When you ask Christ out of Christmas, mm -hmm. that's not faith. Right. Hello, somebody, because mm -hmm. faith supposes a better sacrifice. Right. Hello, yes, somebody. Mm -hmm. Say to your neighbor, 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 are you supposing this holiday season? Are you, are you supposing, supposing this holiday, holiday season? season? Is mm -hmm. your faith supposing? Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Lord, help me to preach this because I didn't mean to say all what I'm saying. Oh, that's the mm. Lord. That's it's the Lord. Lord. You go ahead. Yeah, mm. uh, but by faith, Abel offered a better sacrifice right. mm -hmm. than King. Yeah. And, and by faith, God is calling us to offer a better sacrifice than King. King is a person that's religious. He has religiosity. He is a Pharisee. He's in a service. A Sadducee. He knows everything about the church. But when it comes down to the bottom line, he don't know. <laughs> right. Well. About true faith. My Lord. Somebody could be helped this morning. Somebody could be helped this holiday season because many times, you know, I don't even preach on giving that much. I should preach on giving a lot more. I, I really should. One of, my, one of my deacons challenged me. Mm-hmm. Because uh, not uh, offering sacrifices to God is like uh, not breathing. Oh, Lord. Oh, my, my Lord. My Lord. Hello, Hello, sir. My Lord. Well. Hey, when you have well. issues with, with breathing, that means you won't die. <laughs> right. well. Hello, somebody. And I know about that firsthand. Oh, uh, because of sleep apnea, sleep apnea at night. Oh, that means uh, you, can't, you can't breathe at night and you're stuck. Breathing, that's why you wake up so many times in the middle of the night. It's because you stop breathing. And if you don't wake up, you could die. Yep. Hello, somebody. And right now in this area of sacrificial giving, if you don't wake up, oh, you could die. Oh, Lord. Well, you could die. You, you, you won't have the windows of heaven and opening and pouring out blessings yeah. that you won't have room enough to receive. And you're going to die because you don't have God on your side. Oh, 
my Lord. As long as you don't have God on your side. And we teach here within this church, uh, oh, the Old Testament principle of, of 10% in giving. Because a dime on a dollar, that's not much. Oh, man. And to me, that's not controversial. But to some folk, it is controversial. And it shouldn't be that controversial. Because if you don't want to give a dime on a dollar, you're going to reap what you sow. You know what? You can give more. All right. Because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And you can give more. Right. As a matter of fact, if you add up all the Old Testament sacrificial giving, it really added up to uh, maybe about 24% of right. their income when they, that they were giving to God. They offered to God a better sacrifice. Uh, say to your neighbor, neighbor, right. or neighbor, right. can you suppose God in your finances? Can you suppose God in your finances? Suppose it's God in our finances. Faith says, I can't make it without you know, no, no, no. it seems cliche, but it's so true. When you when you when you when you recognize God in your giving and you see how God blesses you, you realize that you can't afford not to give. Right. Hello, somebody. Amen. Oh, how much or uh, how and why can you explain? Uh, oh, in my own testimony, uh, how can you explain? Uh, I, 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 I have a friend of mine who, who had a doctorate degree and had gotten a doctorate degree and, and, and we were looking uh, for ch a church at the same time and, and I got the church before he did uh, and, and I attributed because I give to the God, to the Lord uh, and he opened that door oh, before he opened his door you know, finances is the bottom line of what you believe in anything right. that you do yeah. it's all in the black and white of the dollar mm. oh, wow. and this world runs off of it and many of us uh, oh we don't we, we get antsy when the preacher talks about God at least uh, if he's not a television preacher oh, Lord. Hello, somebody. Cause you you suppose uh, uh, that you can get what he have on, on the television? Oh, but God mm. wants us Come on. to give. Yes. Amen. Yeah, Amen. 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 Sacrifice. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Hey. It's tight. It's tight, right. but it's right. Curve, rep, and rush. It's tight, but it's right. Yeah, rep, and rush. Say that mm. by faith, Abel offered God. A better sacrifice. Yeah, Lord. He offered him a better offering. Mm -hmm. Not only did Abel do it, but Abraham did it in a very right. unique way. Mm -hmm. Because God told Abraham mm -hmm. to sacrifice, to give, to offer up his son. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, I'd rather give a dollar much more than I would give, give my own son. Come on, come on. That's right. God ain't offering, asking us to do what well. Abraham did. This was a test. This was a test of the emergency broadcast system. Oh, wow. yeah. Hello, somebody. Because Abraham loved that boy, I believe, so much. Because he had him in his old age. He was promised to be a father of many nations. But there were many, many years where he and his wife couldn't have a baby. And at the right old age, Sarah probably 89 and Abraham at 99 God comes on the scene and says I'm going to keep my promise to you I said I would make you a, 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 a father of many nations and that's where we get that term father Abraham and the Reverend Ford is known as father Abraham oh. <laughs> but this is where we get this from hello somebody and God God tested him. Let's look at the, the whole text in context. Hebrew 11, 17, verse 19. By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. You mean after I went through all of that, all of the struggle, all of that time of believing, all of that time of not believing? As a matter of fact, when I heard about it, oh, my wife laughed. Mm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And, and which shows us uh, to which uh, God always gets the last laugh, by the way, because God had her name, her son, Isaac, which means uh, what? Laugh. Come on, somebody. Don't laugh at God when it comes to sacrificing because he will get the last laugh. Uh, either you'll be blessed by him uh, 
or you'll be cursed by him. Oh, I know for me, I want to be blessed. I don't want to give birth to a son named Isaac. I want to give birth to a son named Faith. Oh, Lord. You say, but preacher, that's a woman's name. No, that'll be a man's name. Faith. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. But he tested him and offered Isaac as a sacrifice. And, and he who had, who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his only, his one and only son. Even though God has said to him, it is through Isaac that your offsprings will be what? Mm -hmm. Abraham reasoned or supposed that God mm -hmm. could even raise the dead. Right. Oh, yeah. And right. so right. in a manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from the dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, oh, uh, Abraham believed what the Christ sung this morning. All right. All right. That if he wanted him to offer his son Isaac up, mm -hmm. then God could fix what his mm -hmm. broke. Oh, yeah. Whatever his oh, right. broke, he can yeah. fix what oh, his broke. Yes, sir. Whatever his broke. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> He believed <laughs> that God, oh, his faith supposed uh, that God could fix uh, what was broke uh, and what was ever required of him, uh, he would do because he believed that God was uh, who he said he was uh, and that he would do. My faith, uh, if he wants me to give a dime on a dollar, or uh, 20 cents on a dollar, or uh, 30 cents on a dollar, oh, there were those who really believed God and offered a better sacrifice. A uh, man by the name of J.C. Penney gave 90% of his income All to right. the Lord. Right. Uh, a better sacrifice man, by man, faith. Man. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, oh, oh neighbor. Oh, Supposes God. Faith Faith supposes God. God. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This text is a far a preview to what God was going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because faith not only supposes God, mm -hmm. but faith sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And that's what Abel did in the text. Right. He offered God a better sacrifice mm -hmm. than Cain did. And Abel in Genesis chapter 4 verse right. 4 says, mm -hmm. But Abel brought what? The skinny portion? Mm -hmm. ah. The fat. Mean God like. he, he, Abel brought God the leftovers? No. no. Mm -hmm. Abel brought God the fat mm -hmm. portions, the best. Mm -hmm. From some of the firstborn of his flock. flock. Amen. 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 And the Lord looked with favor oh, Lord. on Ooh. Abel oh, Lord. and his offering. Mm -hmm. And you know, we always, in our Christianity, talking about favor. Right. Favor. Mm -hmm. We always want favor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we don't want to do yeah. the things that we hate to show you. Hold on. Hello, mm -hmm. something. Uh -huh. we, we want him to be uh, oh Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. We want to write a list uh, and say, Santa Claus, this is what we want oh, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh, we want to be a, a Von Hopper says, we want him to be a, a divine bell hop. Mm -hmm. The hop to our knees. Hello, somebody. Mm. No, 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 that's not the way God works. Mm. Right. If you want God to work for you, you've got to work for God. No, no. That's right. All right. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. and, and if you try to stand him off, he'll win every time. Well, hello, somebody. You know what? Stand him off, you're going to wait him out. Mm. No, no. <laughs> My Lord. You can't wait God out. All right. In this person. Come on. Hello, somebody. 
If you're going to give him what is best and be blessed, or you're going to continue to give the leftovers and get what you have. Well, yeah. Some of you have some, some things that are very God really could do more. Hold on. Man. Huh. Let me say that again. Just one word. And if you don't believe me, ask David. Well, David, for most of us, we believe he lived a charmed life. But God says, if this wasn't enough, I could have given you, <laughs> you more. Oh, huh? oh. And many of us, if we say, what is it that you want out of life? Most of us will say more. Mm. Well, more money. Yeah. Mm. Hello, somebody. More something. More something. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. If oh, you want more from God, yes, guess what? Mm. You need to give more to God. Well, 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 yeah. As an athlete, you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and some competitive situations, you've got to pay to get in the race. Right. And a lot of gambling situations, I'm saying that you should gamble, mm. but they have an entry fee that they have to give before they can get they into. They sure do. Right. Hello, something. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God.